in the beginning of the pandemic, 80% of the air freight capacity was gone. My name is Pieter van Engel, and I'm a senior manager heading the EU logistics and supply chain for cell therapy. What we do is we take cells from a patient. They are living cells. Those patients are really ill and are in desperate need of getting that therapy. We need to move those patient cells within 48 hours to a manufacturing location in Amsterdam. After an intermediate product, we ship the cells to the US and there we make the final product. Then we need to ship them back again. And when they arrive in Amsterdam, we are going to do a quality release. And in the end, the patient will be infused. It's quite a long supply chain for one single patient and we don't have any buffers. New developments in the coronavirus. Fast breaking developments in the coronavirus emergency in the US and around the world. I recall that I was driving up to work. You put on the radio and you get a news feed. We're gonna have a travel ban between the European Union and the US. 80% of the air freight capacity was gone to be really impacting our supply chain. It was anxiety, I would say, even, because there is a patient uh, and a critical treatment behind it. Immediately felt we need to act and uh, we needed to work closely within uh, Gilead teams and we needed to have a solution. Our team created an action plan. First pillar was we needed to have the correct information. We needed to create one single source of truth. The second one was we needed to create a governance structure to take the correct decisions and to create a dynamic logistical schedule. So we always have the latest information between uh, the teams in the US and all the different teams in EU. And we needed to every day ensure that we were able to move our patient cells. We were testing different airports uh, as flights going to the US, limited to two a week, maybe one a week. So it's about everybody designing a lot of different solutions and creating possible in a highly changing environment. In Italy, the government is resorting to a lockdown. The pandemic was arousing within Europe, the border into a European country for a lockdown. So we always need to ensure that those patient cells, we can track it online. We needed immediate action. We needed to have a location. And you always pray and think, okay, we need to make it happen. We all know what's at risk and what is at stake. It is stressful, it is engaging, it is a wonderful uh, job we can do, making that difference. <laughs> no, I, I don't recall that I, I have ever encountered such an, an, an heavy disruption in any supply chain uh, environment so far in my career. What we do matters. Every day that we can keep on moving those patient cells and in the end giving care to that person gave us a lot of energy. It also created that we feeling from we are in it together. Everybody within the team knows it's an order, but it's actually a person. <laughs>